I'm doing this short video to explain how you can capture a failed event from your Stripe account inside Pabli Connect. Once a failed payment is captured inside Pabli Connect, you can then send that failed payment data to any place that you want. Okay. I will be showing you step by step process through the test account. But once the test account setup is done, you can use the very same webhook URL and put it inside your active live account and the process will work just exactly like the same. So I've just follow on my tutorial. So the first thing that I am going to do is I am just going to click on more and I am creating a payment link. Uh, I am assuming that you will be using Stripe for checking out. But if you are not using Stripe, the process will be same. You might not have to create a payment link, but uh, after collecting the payment, if the payment fails, you will still get the details inside the Stripe and Stripe will still send you the webhook. So I'm creating a payment link right here. So first of all, I'm adding a new product. Okay, so my new product might be Pabli Connect and I'm just writing that this is a new product and I'm ent entering the price as $1. Okay, and it is a one-time product and I'm just going to add a product. Okay, so the one-time product is ready. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to click on create link button right here. So you can see my payment link is now generated. So I will just copy this payment link and I will just open it up in a separate window and you can see my payment link is exactly right here. So this is my product name. This is the product price and this is all the details that a customer can fill to order this product. Okay. Now what I will do is I will just go to the developers mode right here. You can see the developer section right here. So just go to the developers mode and click on webhooks. You can see the webhooks options right here. Okay. Now what you have to do is just go to Pabli Connect right here, create a workflow and this workflow can be Stripe failed payment to Google Sheets. Okay, we want to send a failed payment from Stripe to Google Sheet. So now what I will be doing is I will be just choosing Stripe right here. And I will be choosing the triggered event as payment failed. So I will be choosing it right here. And you can see the webhook URL is provided by Pabli Connect right here. Now webhook URL is actually a way to receive any data, any event that is happening inside a separate platform inside that is happening inside a external platform and getting that data inside Pabli Connect. So I just copied this webhook URL and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on add an endpoint. I will be pasting this endpoint URL right here. You can just write a description field payment webhook and then you can just select an event which can be a field event so i am just writing field right here and in fact let me just write payment field so it says payment intent payment field you can see and read the description when you want to receive the webhook notification it is all up to you do you want to receive the notification when an invoice failed um, do you want to receive a notification when an order fails or whether you want to receive a notification when a payment intent has failed the attempt to create payment method or a payment so usually as recommended we use this one and i will be just adding this event right here okay and as you can see i will just click on add endpoint button right here so this event is now added and it is waiting for the events to arrive okay so now what i will do is i will try to do a failed payment through this field uh, checkout page right here okay to do a failed payment what we you will have to do is you will have to go to stripe.com slash docs slash testing and it will actually give you some testing card through which you can attempt a failed payment so you can see the testing card is 4000000000000002 charge is declined with a card declined code so whenever you will use this card the charge will be declined with a card declined code so you can see right here Pabli Connect is still waiting for a failed event to come on its side now what I will be doing is I will be going right here and I will be filling out this form so I just added my email address right here I just copied and pasted the card information and then added a CVV number and it can be anything and then added a card number card name and the country and then I'm just going to click on pay you can see it is being processed and it says your card is declined. Please try a different card, right? 
So it is still waiting for events to arrive. And if we look right here inside Pabli Connect, even though the wait, it is still waiting for events, maybe if we reload it right here, it will show the event. Okay, so it now says payment intent payment failed. And if you go to Pabli Connect right here, you can see the entire event right here. So this event has an ID. This event has a creation date. This has a payment intention. This has a amount. Amount shows 100. Uh, this two preceding zeros can be excluded the amount is actually one dollars even you can use a different application by the name of number formatter to uh, manage this so you can just divide it by 100 to get the exact figure but if you go down you can find out all the details like the email name and all those kind of detail you can even see what kind of failure code was there okay the bank did not return any further details with this decline so what you have to do is you just have to uh, get this data and then what you have to do is you can send this data across to your Google Sheet or anything that you like. For example, I'm sending this data to Google Sheet. So I will just select Google Sheet right here. I will be creating a Google Sheets first. So I will be creating a blank Google Sheet by the name of uh, Stripe Field Payments. Okay. And I will be just writing the name, name of the customer, email uh, amount, and possibly the failure code, okay? So there are four details. What I will be doing is I will be just connecting my Google Sheet account. Click on add new row, click on connect. Uh, choose your existing connection if it is already there. In my case, it is already there. So I'm choosing the existing connection. You can add a new connection if it, this is your first time you are creating a Google Sheet account. It automatically selected the latest strap spreadsheet automatically, which says Stripe failed payment. It automatically selected the sheet name, which happens to be sheet one. Okay. So now this is the detailed name, email, amount, and failure code. So I will just map the name from here, which happens to be Neeraj. Email from here, which happens to be, let me search it, neeragai.gmail.com. And the amount. So in fact, the amount is 100. Again, you will have to, if you want it, you can even divide it by 100. Uh, there is a number formatter that you can use to divide this by 100. And then you the failure code, failure code was declined. So your card was declined, or you can even write this message, the bank did not return, it's returned any further details. Now it is up to you what exactly you want to decide. And once everything is mapped, just click on save and send test request. And now your workflow is ready to go. You can see the data is right here inside your Google Sheet. Now we will try because now this automation is complete. Honestly, this automation is complete. You don't even have to do anything. This is turned on. Now, if we do another test payment through a field card through a different email, you will see all the data will be added inside this Google Sheet automatically. So let me just uh, make it a little bit nicer. And we will just see uh, the whole detail again, okay? So now this time I'm going to test down the integration again, but instead of uh, this card decline code, I will be using the insufficient fund code. So I will just copy this card. I am going back to the payment page here. So this time I'm using a different email, uh, different card number, different person's name, okay? And this time I'm just going to click on pay button all over again. Now you can see this workflow is still activated. So it will work. The payment field where book will come from Stripe. As soon as it comes, the Google sheet new row will be added. Okay. So I will just click on pay button right here. It says processing. Your card has insufficient fund. Please try a different card. If you go to your Google sheet, you can find the data right here. Okay, so this means your workflow is completed. It is working perfectly fine. The only thing that you have to do now is uh, the webhook URL. In fact, because this was a test account. So what you have to do is just copy this webhook URL. Okay, just copy this webhook URL. Go to your live account. In my case, this is going to be my live account. Go to my live account. Go to the webhook section. Select the very same event and just paste this webhook URL inside your live account. And next time there is a failed payment that happens inside your live account, 
it will automatically be sent over uh, to this workflow and the data will be added to Google Sheet. I hope that I might have explained this video in a quite uh, good way. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team. Our team is happy to answer your question at forum.pabli.com. Thank you.